As a historic town, Belltown might be the last thing you think of when you think of modern metropolis. Many folks that are residents in Middletown live in homes as old as a century. The town is filled with tales going back to the Civil War that stay relevant through stories and old buildings that still reside today. But something that is less talked about is the history of Middletown High School. For over a century, the Middletown High School name has standed firm with great admiration from folks all around the county, and yet no historic myths or paranormal legends are anywhere to be found. This is why I've taken it upon myself to start my own investigation into how Middletown High School just might be haunted after all. Researching, I found that there are three things necessary when doing a paranormal experiment. One, equipment. Two, stories and information. Three, a paranormal investigation. That's right, a full-on paranormal investigation into Middletown High School. Now, just time to get started. Starting this investigation, I thought buying a ghost kit online would be the perfect thing. Except when I realized there were all over a hundred dollars. Though I want to give this my best shot, I'm not about to spend a hundred dollars on a graded assignment. I opted for the classic essentials. Right here we got a EMF reader, then we got a tape recorder. Well, I have one in my house, so I'm just gonna use that. Uh, a stud finder? Yeah, no. Release. Oh, we have a tape recorder. Okay, we don't have much, but we have two things. We'll be fine. I guess. For this investigation, I interviewed a few teachers who work at Middletown High School and even some who had went to MHS in their youth to learn their thoughts and if they believe in the paranormal to see if they think Middletown High School might actually be haunted. No. Um, I don't believe. I don't know. You think Middletown High School is haunted? Um, no. So a lot of them said no. There were still a few interesting tidbits that they had mentioned. I do believe in something. I don't know if we'd call them ghosts, but I do believe in something. As a physicist, I believe that our understanding of science is incomplete. There are things that we can't explain, uh, things that happen every day that we still can't explain. Um, I don't think MHS is haunted. However, if you were to tell me that you speculate that aliens might be around here or that someone might be an alien, there's definitely some people that I would believe that if you told me, definitely. Like, there's some suspects around here. The school's pretty old. I do not know of any stories or legends. Mr. Donald and I both once brought in a guest speaker. They were ghost hunters, and I was not convinced by any of the things that they demonstrated. So that's my take on it. Definitely it's haunted by a ghost of state titles past. I know there's been a couple deaths on the property. Um, a couple years ago, uh, algebra-based physics died. Uh, and then uh, last year, uh, uh, fundamentals of chemistry died. So they, are, they're, they no longer exist here. But then he said this. Uh, this year, actually, in the, in the fall, um, I'd walk into the boys' bathroom and the soap dispense would be, like, gone. It'd just disappear. It'd show up the next day and then be gone again. What's going on? I have, it's, it's odd. It's odd. I can't explain it. And then realized he was probably joking again. But, you know, that's okay. Who doesn't love Mr. Burr, after all? Though she did not have time to sit down for an interview, biology and forensic science teacher Miss Duba quoted that during her time in high school, the auditorium was rumored to be haunted. But yet again, what if that was just a rumor? Maybe this whole idea is just a fluke. 
and then I interviewed Miss Lawfrey. I had taken English 11 with Miss Lawfrey this past fall semester, and what I learned from day one is that this lady is spiritual. I thought she would have something to say, and boy, was I right. Darn it. You can do it as many times. Okay, as you want. I take like three. I believe in spirits, I believe in energy. We have a physical body. When the body goes, where does the energy go? Energy doesn't die. I definitely think there's something out there. When you asked me to be interviewed and you brought that question forward, I found it curious because I didn't know any history of the place. I've never heard that anybody died here. I have never heard anybody ever talk about this here. And I had not shared this story with anyone. <laughs> But since you asked, one night I was tutoring in the media center within the last couple of years, and it was 3.20, 3.30, and I had to clean up, lock the doors, shut the lights off. I've been through the media center a million times. I've never felt anything there, but that particular early evening, I did. I felt energy toward the back of the media center kind of in the, where the, the doors go through, you have that breezeway or whatever you want to call it, but back toward where science rooms are. Back in that left corner, there was just something there and I felt uncomfortable and I wanted to leave. And I can say I've not felt like that any other time or anywhere in this building. After getting to talk to Ms. Lawfrey and doing her interview, I finally thought that this project could be worth something. I mean. I feel like there might be something to watch at the end of the day of all of this, where for a while I didn't feel that way. Now all that's left is... Now you might be thinking doing a paranormal investigation in Milton High School is pretty near impossible. I thought the same thing. You can't do it at night. Doing it during the day with the lights on, how is that spooky at all? People are constantly walking around, whether school is in session or not. How are you going to find free time where no one is around? These are all valid concerns and serious questions I had myself, but see, I have a plan. Can't do it at night? We'll put a night vision filter on. It'll seem spooky. Trust me. Trust me. Maybe we won't. We'll have to see. People walking around? Well, we can't really fix that. But hey, it adds to the vibe of Milton High School, right? People walking around. <laughs> Please? Please? I, I can't do it any other time. Like, I could only do it when people, like, come on. But the biggest problem that this comes to is I'm not allowed to be in school, at least after hours, unsupervised. So how am I going to get it done? Oh, come on. It just went back down. <laughs> what is this? No, you did not just see a ghost. There was actually just one thing I forgot to mention. And I have invited myself along with you to check this out. I'm very excited for that. Yep, what you just watched was real. Lisa Lawfrey from the English department just invited herself on the paranormal investigation. I couldn't be more excited. I mean, think about what she will bring to the table. She knows people who went to the school. The lady has taught for 35 years 25 of them being in Milton High School. You can't go wrong. Now it's just time for you to sit back and watch what we found. After doing this paranormal investigation, I can say that we found three places in Milton High School that with evidence can be proven to be haunted. The Milton High School Auditorium, Ms. Lawfrey's classroom, in the wood shop at MHS. When investigating the library, we actually came out to find nothing, when that was even the one spot we hoped to find any evidence at all. The EMF reader picked up nothing, as well as not feeling the energy Miss Lawfrey previously described before. But of course, while we're all here and watching this video right now, to see some juicy evidence into how Milton High School turns out to really be honored. insane i can't believe it so how this looks right now is how it looked like going around in my house you can even put it down here if you'd like yeah let's try all right hey if anyone's here light it up let us know if you know that you're here <gasps> oh. 
It just went. This went to orange. That's because I moved it, I think. I've always felt. Mm, I feel so like. Yeah. Just it's so not doing anything. Like. <gasps> oh. Oh my god. Hi. Are you here with us? It's it went to orange. Are you the person that when we walked in the auditorium that told us not to come to the stage? Oh my God. Is somebody else in here? It's pot, yeah, let's go. Oh, wait, it's back on red now. Wow, it is going insane. I'm not touching any button. Do you want us to stay right here? Do you want us to stay here? Hit the red again. Go to red, come on. Oh my god. It wants red. And it wants us to stay here. Do you want us to stay here? Would you like us to stay here? Go to red if you want us to Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? That is insane. It is. I know we're supposed to respect. No, come on. We have to stay here. Can you show us orange? Show us a higher color, please. Should we introduce ourselves right now? I'm Lisa. I'm Kelly. This, this, this. Hi. Oh. I'm so, sorry. Oh, we didn't get to introduce ourselves. Sorry about that. I, I'm Lisa. I teach English at Middletown. Oh, doesn't like English teachers. Sorry, <laughs> that's true. Do you like math? Do you like math? I don't like math either. Do you like history? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this viewing of the haunting of Milltown. Did we find more evidence in the end to prove our case? Yes. But the truth is, believing in whether or not Milltown High School is haunted or not will really be left up to you and your perspective of MHS. Maybe you're a total skeptic like Mr. Kolsch, or maybe you're like Miss Thompson, who is number one most likely to experience Milltown's first alien invasion. Maybe later, the story will be finished. But for now, ask yourself, do you believe ghosts are real? As for if Milltown High School is really haunted, in my opinion, absolutely yes. I guess. Why not?